welcome back to a new video. So today is the 25th of April, um, so it's Monday, and what I've just been doing, I've got some meal prep here, just been sorting out, a bit of meal prep. Um, so I've got three meals there, they're actually all chicken meals, I would actually have, usually have one with beef mince, but I actually ran out unfortunately, so I've actually got all chicken meals, uh, two with rice and one with rice cakes. And a couple of them have got uh, some veg in it, some uh, asparagus. Well, one's got asparagus, one's got peppers and onions, and the other one I haven't got it yet, but I'm just gonna go quickly and get some salad for the other one as well. Uh, but uh, now what I'm gonna be doing is gonna go to Genesis to train, doing back and biceps. And to yesterday, last night, I actually just had my first cheat meal. So it was my first cheat meal of the entire prep. I've been prepping so far for five weeks, got seven weeks left. Uh, so my cheat meal, I didn't have able to record it. I got a couple of pictures instead, so I'm gonna over the pic overlay the pictures on the screen for you. Uh, so what I had was um, a, a medium pizza from Papa John's. I had a Texas barbecue. Uh, one, it was a half and half actually, so it was Texas barbecue and Hawaiian mixed uh, together. And also after that, um, or with it, I did have a side, so I had some garlic cheese uh, stick things. Uh, which are again really nice with the dip and everything and after that I had something called, well, I got it from Sainsbury's, it's called a brookie it's basically a, what is it, a brownie cookie so it's like a like a cake thing, brownie cookie so I put it in the oven for about 15 minutes to warm up and everything and I had that after uh, so that was really really good, my first cheat meal of the entire prep uh, which I did really enjoy but even now the next day even for breakfast I wasn't massively hungry really to be fair because I was still fairly full from last night but I'm going to be doing back and biceps at the gym today. So the reason I actually put in the cheat meal at the, uh, last night is because I knew I was doing back and biceps today. And back is my weakest muscle, uh, as in like size-wise and everything. Um, so I'm trying to put as much energy I can into back, training back as much as I can. So I should have a really, get a really good pump and have a really good session on uh, back day. Um, I'm actually going to go to Genesis as well. I'm going to leave in a minute. I'm actually running a little bit late. But I'm going to be going to Genesis to train and then going to work after as well. So I've actually got, that's why I will want my meal prep, all my food uh, with me here. Um, so I'll show you again. So again there, got my meal prep. Um, there I've also got some, uh, just like two rice cakes in this little tub as well, which I will have, that be my post-workout, or my post-workout will be a protein shake and two rice cakes, and then have the other meals throughout the rest of the day. But yeah, so now I'm gonna go to Genesis, you're gonna see me doing a back and biceps workout. So, hi guys, um, as you can hear, I'm just going to do, do a voiceover for this video. Just mainly reason because that, uh, when I film with Genesis, it can be quite loud sometimes with music and there's a high chance of getting copyright and I just don't want to be putting music over the top all the time. So I thought I'd do a voiceover of me talking about uh, the training and what I'm doing and tips and everything as well. So as you can see, this first exercise uh, of back, I'm doing straight arm lat pulls. I'm actually just doing uh, 20 reps. I think I'm doing three sets here as well. Um, and as you can see when I'm doing it, I'm using a rope. Personally, I do prefer the rope. Some people do like to use a straight bar or EZ bar um, or like a wide grip, for example, like a, a lap pull down bar. But personally, I do prefer a rope. I just feel like I can get a better squeeze in the lats. So with these ones, what you wanna to try to do, make sure when you hold the rope, hold the bottom portion of the rope. So basically, the bottom portion of your little finger, the bottom of your palm basically, is against uh, the ball bit of the rope. So when you pull down, you're gonna keep your chest up, shoulders back, and you're gonna pull down towards the hips as well, as you can see. You're gonna keep your elbows just very slightly bent, not too much, just a slight bend that, but keep it fixed the entire time. So you're not gonna be pulling down because trying to strain your arms or trying to bend them even more. It's not um, like a, um, a rope pull, uh, for the back, in a sense of trying to pull it with your arms, it's your lats doing the work, and again, it's not um, a tricep extension as well. And trying to pull towards your hips, keep your chest up and shoulders back the entire time. Okay, so now my next exercise, as you can see, is lat pull down. So I do actually, I've been using more of the mag grip um, recently when his palms facing each other. But at the moment, um, uh, in this video, I did just normal lat pull down with a normal bar. I do prefer probably with a normal bar more, especially when I use straps because I feel it more on the back muscles, which I'm trying to work. And with a mag grip, sometimes you can 
feel like it is more of your grip, your forearms working instead. Um, so I do like to obviously use the actual bar itself to hold on to and I always use straps with these. You can see I'm strapping up there. The reason I do use them is just to take tension off the biceps and the forearms. So I try to keep tension on the back, on the lats as much as possible. Form wise, as you can see, I'm trying to keep my back straight so you can lean back a little bit slightly as you pull down maybe like five possibly ten percent but not too much it's not going to be a lower back exercise as i said a lat exercise it's going to put uh, lean back just very slightly but again keep your shoulders down and back chest up as well when you keep your chest up pull down to the handles about in line with about mouth or chin level should be fine uh, and that's going to be working the lats the uh, side portion of the back get the width of the back and when also when you do pull down for grip wise, you want to make sure you handle grip. You don't want to have it too wide, that otherwise it just does shorten the range of motion. You want to basically have it so when your arms are basically to the side, um, like a 90 degree angle in the elbow, that, that is your grip basically. So just wider than shoulder width apart, a few inches wider than shoulder width apart basically. Next exercise, as you can see, I'm on the hammer strength row machine. I'm actually doing both arms together. And again, just like that pull down, I am using the straps again just to take tension off the forearms and the biceps, which for me sometimes I do feel like they overactivate too much. So I am trying to make sure that I'm trying to put the tension on my back as much as I can, as back my back is a weak point still. It's always been a weak point for, for years, and I'm just trying to build up as much as possible. Again, with this one, you want to make sure again you keep your chest forward, keep your shoulders back, and as you pull, trying to pull towards your stomach or the hips and make sure you don't like push your neck down or up too much as well try to keep your neck fairly neutral as well and as you pull back trying to squeeze the back as much as you can again this is working more of the lats when it's a closer grip working more of the lats but more of the lat thickness instead when it's a wider grip it's going to be working more of the inner portion of the back more of the mid traps and the rhomboids instead as you can see as well i did a drop set as well so i was doing three plates aside on the machine Literally just went to failure and as many as I can, then drop the weight, take a plate off each side. Again, trying to get as many as I can, as you can see here. Again, with good form, if you get, let's say, one or two, just slight treat reps, a little bit of a swing, that's fine, as long as your form's not breaking too much or your form's not breaking throughout the entire set, basically. If it's just a couple of reps, it's okay. And as you see as well, I literally just drop the weight again. Now I've got one plate. It, one plate in general is really light, but after you do a couple of drops, it does feel really tough because obviously your muscles are so exhausted, a time under tension on the muscle, very exhausted, so it will feel really tough as well. And you see there as well, I'm just getting a few mini reps as well, just trying to pump the muscle full of blood as much as possible. So even if you kind of pull to your chest and release like halfway, just trying to get that pulses, that is a very good way of uh, getting force reps on the muscle. So next exercise is a high row machine, as you can see. It's a close grip one. I love this machine. It's such a great machine. Even doing the closer grip and the wider grip, they both work really well. Uh, so as you can see there, again, you're going to pull down. Uh, you're going to pull down, try pull down to your elbows closest to your lats or close as you can. Here I'm actually going fairly heavy-ish really, but I think it's about three and a half plates I've got there. Um, but what you can do, trying to put, as I said, pull down to your um, elbows are kind of close to the lats. That as you can see there now, a bit better that angle. But you don't need to go down too far, otherwise it'd be working more of your mid traps, and I'm trying to work more again of my lats as well. Can work more of your lower lats as well because it's more of a closer grip uh, pull down as well. And again, when you pull, you don't want to again lean back too far. You want to try to keep your chest against the front pad as well. It can be hard to lean back on this one sometimes a little bit because you have got a chest support anyway. Um, and as you see, I'm actually just getting a few pass reps at the end, just like I did with the machine uh, hammer strength row. You're getting a couple of pass reps, just trying to exhaust the muscle again as much as possible. Next one here is a, another is a seated row, cable seated row. This one I am using a wide grip, and it is the mag grip this time. You can't actually see on this video because I think it's just cut off at the bottom. But I do actually, I am actually sitting on a box or a sitting on a slight uh, wooden step thing. Just so basically it's more of a, a low row, so I'm higher up, so I can pull slightly up. I'm, so I'm pulling towards my lower chest, but I'm pulling up slightly to work and get more attention on the upper mid back instead. So working the rhomboids and again the mid traps as well. So I'm trying in this whole workout, as you can see, is literally working the whole portion of the back, 
not just targeting certain portions. So I started with more of a lax, um, and now I'm going on to the upper, upper back, mid back, like I said, the uh, mid, um, mid to like uh, upper traps, the rhomboids, and a little bit the rear delts because my hands are wider, my rear delts will activate a bit, which is fine. They're going to activate when doing this type of exercise. And as well, when you do pull, you're trying to pull, I said, towards the lower, lower portion of the chest. Keep your elbows out, so keep your elbows out the entire time. And you're going to uh, try to squeeze the back as much as you can. If you feel like you can't get the full um, range of motion, you can't pull back all the way, so you can't, it can't touch your chest, it means that you're probably going too heavy and you need to lighten the weight. Next exercise, I am doing some barbell curls, as you can see. So I'm doing some barbell curls now. I'm actually doing a little bit heavy on this. So I've got 15 kilos each side on the bar, so 50 kilos altogether. Um, and then my grip wise, it's about shoulder width grip there. I've got shoulder width, so you're gonna curl up to your hands about in line with the chest or upper chest level. Um, if you get a slight swing, that's okay, as long as you're not swinging massively to your lower back is getting involved too much and you're literally just swing the weight, not even working the biceps. But um, as long as you control the weight from literally most of the reps, so you can see there, like on the way down, I'm controlling it a little bit more as well. But as I said, as you can see from this angle now, sideways, you can lean forward slightly to get a swing, but as long as you're not leaning back. So I'm not really leaning back much at all, so I'm still getting the full benefit of the biceps. And I was actually squeezing the entire time I was doing it as well. So I knew I was getting a full bicep activation. It wasn't just a swing at all, like getting no biceps working. I didn't get a low back pump either, so it shows the low back wasn't working. Um, so yeah, so you're gonna go up, as I said, to the upper chest or chest level, and come down, fairly controlled if you can. And again, uh, make sure you do not swing, keep your chest up, shoulder back. This next exercise for biceps is seated dumbbell curls, as you can see here. So you're gonna be sitting down. This is actually a type of bench, which is a completely upright bench, can't change it, you've got feet pads and it goes about more or less about three quarters up the way uh, way up your back as well. The dumbbells, don't need too heavy on this because you're very controlled, arms, elbows by the side, gonna curl up, uh, basically curl, just curl up, trying to squeeze the biceps as much as you can, that's more about the squeeze of the muscle instead. Next exercise now, and it's the last exercise of the entire workout, is dumbbell hammer curls, as you can see. I'm crossing over the body, so crossing sideways uh, to the body, this is working more of the forearms and the outer portion of the bicep, so the brachialis is the muscle in the bicep, the side portion, and a lot of forearms, and the dumbbells I've got here, so you can see the rack in front is, uh, there are silver uh, dumbbells, these are actually fat grip dumbbells as well, so it's actually built in with the dumbbells, so you don't need to add fat grips to them, the dumbbells themselves are fat grips as well, so with them fat grips, it does make use um, your forearms even more than normal so especially doing the dumbbell hammers using fat grips is very good use your forearms and the brachialis really well and you can see form wise you want to try to come up to your handle hands about in line with chest level again or about nice degree angle in the elbow uh, i'm going to come up again i'm going across the body as well switching arms back and forth and you see there as well, I'm doing a drop set or multiple drop set. I think I do about three, four drop sets possibly. I just go as many as I can. Starts, I think I started at 22 and a half kilos. I went down, I think with about 17 kilos, then to 12 and I think that went to last one is 10 kilo dumbbells. And literally just trying to rep it out as much as I can as well. Just trying to get as many reps as I can. And this one is literally just a complete burnout. Um, so... Uh, yeah, that was a complete burnout of that one and that is the end of the workout. So I hope you did enjoy it. Um, the video is a bit different doing a bit of a voiceover, but I um, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please give this video a like. Please comment if you want to see anything in the future or anything you want to see in particular. Please subscribe if you haven't done also. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.